And so finally we get Venus <laughs> in with Mercury. Yeah, Venus entering Capricorn on the 9th. So, yeah. yeah. Now both of them can't see that Mars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Venus and Capricorn, I always think of, is a little bit hard-headed. You know, they're not going to put up with too much, what's the word, nonsense from suitors. Venus can be quite discriminating. It, it knows what it likes, but it also knows what it doesn't like. And um, Venus and Capricorn certainly knows what it doesn't like. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, Venus and Capricorn is that 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 working. It, it looks like the the person who's you know the project manager who's trying to get the the, the thing completed, mm. you know, in a nice way, mm. but still wants to work hard. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, they're ruled by Saturn in this sign. So, yeah, there's a, you know, you can take it down a notch. It's not a mildly, it's not a wildly romantic uh, Venus position. It's a little bit more serious. Uh, and wherever Capricorn is in your chart, you might have some good luck or, you know, some gifts because Venus is one of the benefics. So you'll have Venus in that part of your chart bringing hopefully good things probably for about three weeks or so. Very nice. Mm. That is at my midheaven, so I'm 